10年前ぐらいに学校の授業中に万年筆のキャップを転がして遊んでた人たちがね大勢いたらしいんですそれを見た佐藤敏夫さんというクラフト作家がおもちゃに作り変えたんですねそのおもちゃに僕は出会ってアレンジを加えて現在のモクルという姿になりました自分で遊び方をどんどんどんどん無限に開発できるっていうところがいいところだと思ってますやればやるだけ上手になるこれはまさにスポーツなんではないかこれはデスクトップスポーツだとそういうふうに思い命名しましたまず初心者の方は左右に1回転がして抑えるということができたらいいと思います次にですね前後左右の動きあるいは2回転転がして抑えるあるいは早く転がすそのようなことになりますここから先はですね技を繰り出せるようになると思うんですが2本を使ったりですね両手でやったりあるいは自分で考えた持ち上げる技であったりとかそういうことが楽しめると思います2人でキャッチボールみたいに生き生きさせたりとか転がし続けて先にダメになった方が負けというゲーム性を持たさせたりとかそういうような楽しみ方ができますムクルは自分で遊びを考える喜びその技を練習してできた時の喜びさらにそれを世界中のみんなとシェアする喜びそんな楽しさがたくさん詰まってるいいおもちゃです是非皆さんムクルで楽しんでください
I never really thought it was a problem. I'd always suspected those around me had seen my incessant pen clicking, knee shaking, and desk tapping. But I had no idea how bad it had gotten. I just fidgeted all the time with anything I could get my hands on. <laughs> Didn't matter what. The bubble wrap. Oh, the bubble wrap. The way it pop, pop, popped. I just couldn't get enough. That was probably my rock bottom. Thankfully, my Kickstarter community told me they were so. From the people that brought you to Ed comes over the counter Fidget Cube. Fidget Cube is a vinyl desk toy designed to satisfy any urges to click, roll, spin, and other common fidgety impulses without driving your colleagues and loved ones away. Fidget Cube is a cube that you fidget with. Studies have suggested that fidgeting increases focus and improves productivity. Side effects may include a sudden ability to cope with boring meetings, pay attention in class, power through Netflix marathons. Fidget Cube is designed to allow discreet fidgeting in any setting. Do not use Fidget Cube if you have an aversion to rectangular prisms. Fidget Cube lets me satisfy my fidgeting without endlessly annoying those around me. I thought I could stop at any time, and now I realize I don't want to. Fidget Cube can help. Take the first step to fidgeting freedom today. Okay, so in all seriousness, we may joke about fidgeting and may give our friends and coworkers a hard time for the pen clicking and the nail biting, but what if there aren't something? What if fidgeting is a coping mechanism, a way for us to stay focused and more present in the moment? Some scientists smarter than us believe that we have this thing called floating attention, which makes it hard for us to focus in certain circumstances. Oh, hey Mark. Yeah. Yeah, and actually fidgeting has been shown to be able to help keep that floating attention occupied, which helps you. What's that in your pocket? Hi, I'm Adam, creator of the Fidgy Pen. What is the Fidgy Pen, you might ask? The Fidgy Pen is the world's first fun to play with and discreet fidget toy. Why do you need a Fidgy Pen? Let's take a look at Paul. Paul's about to kiss this beautiful young woman, but then, because of this oversized fidget toy, it totally ruined the mood. Don't let this happen to you. How many times has this happened to you or people around you? You're fidgeting with things and it's distracting to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Let's see a day in the life of Paul and see what happens. Paul, stop fidgeting. I hope he doesn't get an F on that one. Ah, oh, great got dumped by my girlfriend, kicked out of school, and I just killed Carol. Excuse me, Sonny? I'm not dead yet. Hey, quiet, Grandma. I'm making a crowdfunding video. Word? Pablo, you really think I'm going to put myself behind bars and say curse word on crowdfunding video? Now get out! Wow, hope he doesn't get sent to the dean's office. So fidgeting got the best of you, huh? You're almost two. Pull my finger. Uh -huh. 
sake. You'll thank me later. So why did we create the fidgy pen? Research has shown that when we're experiencing anxiety or boredom, fidgeting is the body's natural mechanism to help us stay focused, present, and in the moment. So the reason we created these fidgeting features embedded inside of the pen is that so people could fidget more discreetly. You know, there's a lot of other fidget toys out there, but the problem is they're too large and they're too distracting to others. That's why we believe that fidgeting is for anyone who wants to stay focused, relaxed, and have fun in the process. Also, research has shown that people with ADD, ADHD, and autism can greatly benefit from fidgeting. We believe that habits such as nail biting, leg shaking, and finger...